Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing a kitting up. So we're going to be kitting up two diamond paintings. Um, first one I'm doing is these purple tulips from Dreamer Designs. Well, I thought that was going to say Dreamer Designs, but that just says paint with passion. Dreamer Designs. Um, this one is legally licensed from Alyssa Carey. So yeah, I thought it's spring. Well, it's almost spring for me. It's not yet spring, but by the time this gets posted, it should be spring. Um, so I was like, let's do my tulip down painting. So this one is purple tulips. And then I'm also going to be doing this down painting here. Well, it's a long one. So it's these orange tulips here. This one is from Crystal Canvas Art Designs. And, um, yeah, and then this one is also legally licensed, and it's by Gary Gay. So, yeah. So, two diamond paintings. Only. Because, I don't know if you've noticed, I tend to do a lot more at once. But I figured these ones have way more colors than some of the other diamond paintings I do. So this will take probably just as much time as, like, five of them. Because this one has 53 colors, and then the other one has 35. So, let's do... The smaller one first. So this one, purple tulips. Here is my thumbnail picture. Let's see. Put on my journal. I could have just filled this in prior to this video, but I didn't because, yeah. So purple tulips. Is this a true 40 by 50? Probably is. Um, yeah, four, 50 by 40. Yep. So that's correct. And this is a full drill. These should be squares. Yep, square drills. Um, it's a poured glue. There's 53 colors. And there are three ABs in this one. Um, this does have the DMC code, and it is, I can't remember what the date it is, March 20, 3, 20, 2022. So in case, I don't know when this is getting posted, I already have two kidding ups already um, recorded, because <laughs> I was doing my mom's 16 Dawn paintings or something. Um, so I'm going to use the Tic Tac containers, mainly because this is only a 40 by 50 with 53 colors, so I think it should fit in here. And I, with, I need, I need space for the 53 colors. So let me move that aside here. And the Dreamer Designs does come with labels. I can't recall if the labels are removable. I'm just going, I think, I think the ones with the clear plastic backing were not that removable. I'm gonna hope that these are removable. <laughs> because what's the point of labels if they're not removable? Or should I, yeah. Are they going to be removable? Can I fit the one? No, I could only go up to there. I'm pondering whether they're going to be removable or not and whether I should just put them on masking tape so that I don't pawn. Yeah, you know what? Hmm. I feel like there was a previous um, Dreamer Designs one that I did that was not removable and I don't want to struggle to remove the labels. So, I think I'm just going to put on masking tape, just in case that it isn't removable. Do these things have the DMC number on there? Yes. Because I've, I've struggled before <laughs> to remove, to move, remove drills before. So I'm just going to keep this here and we'll use this as, I, I mean, remove labels. Um, and we'll put this on the outside there. And I just did that because I thought it might not be removable. <laughs> So, so some labels, 
You know what? Let me see if I have some. I do have some label paper here. Let's see. It might, it'll be easier to cut, I think. Actually, it's doesn't masking tape doesn't stick to label paper apparently. So And yep, yeah, I'm only doing the masking tape because I'm afraid of it not being removable. Because I feel like in the past I've I've been burned and it was not removable. Wait, is this masking tape too wide? Nah, it should be okay. So sometimes I feel like having the labels is a nice thing, but it might actually end up making me take longer um, than just cutting out the canvas or scanning it myself. Um, actually, they seem pretty removable. so. I don't know. They're already on the masking tape, so I'm just going to... cut them out then. I don't know. What's the easiest way to cut them? It's just... just do this. So, but yeah, I'm just putting them on the masking tape just because I don't know if they're removable. Um, and I know their newer kits have them already cut, so let's hope everything will fit in here. So number one actually looks like a large amount, so I think I might need the bigger Tic Tac container. <laughs> So, let's hope everything fits, because, yeah, yeah, see, there's a ton in there. So let's just move some of those aside. And the reason I didn't stick the label on yet, because I wasn't sure if I was going to use the big one or the small one, um, this one actually looks like it might fit just the smaller container, but I could be wrong. Um, that's the problem with the Tic Tac containers sometimes, or that's the problem until you get a feel for <laughs> how many drills there are. You have no idea if they're going to fit in the big one or not, in the small one or not. So once I get a feel for how full these bags are, I'll get a better idea and so so what was i going to talk about today i don't know so you're not going to see this kitting up right away just because i already have two kitting ups already recorded um and that was when i was doing my mom's um i was kitting up 16 diamond paintings for my mom um to take with her um, to my sister's house. Um, I had... So, um, my mom and I went to my sister's house for her birthday, um, and then my mom stuck around at my sister's house. My sister's only in Seattle, so it's not like... Um, I'm. It's not like I'm never going to visit. It's just, you know, it's still a drive away, or a ferry ride. I, I could take the ferry also, um, but the ferry costs... Actually, I don't know. See, with toll... Because <laughs> I have to cross the Tacoma... The Tacoma Bridge. Tacoma Narrows Bridge. No, but see... Putting your car in the ferry is actually a good amount of money, too. So, yeah. So far, everything I'm kidding up is needing the big one. Um, I'm hoping I'll not run out of space. So, so yeah, 
went to my sister's house for her birthday. We uh, we passed by um, South Center Mall, which is in Tequila, um, to go to um, what they call the Filipino bakery that's there, the Red Ribbon. Ended up getting a mango cake. Um, and then we also ended up getting some barbecue from I forgot what it was called, but it was it was Filipino barbecue. So because <laughs> that's what my sister wanted, I was like, "What do you want?" She's like, "Ooh, you're there. Can you get barbecue?" <laughs> it's like the Filipino barbecue that's on the stick. Um, so yeah, got some barbecue and got some mango cake. Should have just went to Jollibee and got like fried chicken too at that point. <laughs> but you know the stuff like, like, um, jo the Jollibee in um, in South Center Mall is always really, really like. There's always like a line. So, <laughs> but you know the barbecue um, place was also had a line. It was just I felt like there was just a line everywhere. Um, so, but it probably could just be because there's no other, like, Filipino stuff. Yeah. See, it, every time I go there, I'm like, okay, I need to go buy um, my, um, my pancit noodles, which it, it, pancit is pretty much the Filipino version of their own noodles. So then I always go there and I make sure I get the noodles because I feel like that's what I, I, I don't know why, but I want, I want certain, I have to buy the noodles. So I got a whole bunch of noodles and I was going to get some marinated marinades, but those things were way more expensive than usual. I, I did end up buying them and I was just like, really? <laughs> I was very tempted to buy um, bread too, because I was like, ooh, but now I didn't buy bread. I don't normally eat bread, and then now that I, my mom wasn't with me, I was like, who's going to help me eat the bread? Um, so no, I didn't end up buying bread. But yeah, no, sometimes when I go to my sister's house, I'm like, okay. Now I'm passing by um, stores that I don't normally, I'm not normally nearby, so I'm gonna have like this extra trip and get my supplies of stuff. So it's not just to see you, it's to also get some of my stuff. So yeah, um, went to my sister's house was her birthday. Um, we're just both just getting old. <laughs> so it was nice seeing her. And and then, I mean, it's not like we, we didn't, we just, you know, ate food. That's what we do. What's my next one? 21 is, no, where's, not that one. Oh, here it is. Too many strips. Um, just pretty much ate food. So, and hung out, talked. Um, and then the next day I went home, left my mom there. So yeah, now I'm back at my place all by myself again. <laughs> Talking to myself again. Talking to you guys by myself again. <laughs> so yeah. It's 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 a little different. I got used to having my mom here, so um it's quieter. We're not watching the Filipino soap operas together anymore. <laughs> but I got hooked to them, so I've been watching them by myself, but then I um, since we're, um, I only got the one Filipino channel account, I do see that she's already watched it by the time I watch stuff. <laughs> and, yeah. 
And I also made, like, on my way back, I made a trip to go to Ikea, thinking, okay, I was gonna buy one of those, um, what they call, I think they're, they're the Billy bookcase. I was gonna buy a bookcase to put, like, over there, because that's where I currently have one of the, similar to the, to, I have one of my cube storage things in there that's similar to, what's Ikea's version called? Um, I forgot, Calyx or something. There is some, some, what do you call it, static in here. I was gonna, I have a cube storage thing right there, but, um, and I've been putting in my photo boxes for my spare storage there, but it doesn't really work that well because I have to put them two layers deep and I just don't like it. So I was gonna buy a bookshelf and guess what? Nothing, no bookshelf. So then I go to their little computer there where it tell it, you know, you could, kind of look where everything is and it's like um not in stock maybe in stock like march blow blah, blah. and i'm like but that's after <laughs> so so yeah lot so the bookcase wasn't in stock i might end up just ordering it online and having to pay for shipping which might be better than i don't have to somehow get it into my car and stuff like that um but yeah it was not in stock but i got to see it in their showroom and I for whatever reason I like walking around Ikea it's nice looking at the furniture um, so yeah even though it wasn't there I got to see what it looked like because it's one thing to see it online but to see an actual like real live version I was like okay I'm okay with that um, bookshelf though they did have other bookshelves they had the other not Billy bookshelves that were like twice the price and I'm like it's just a bookshelf I just want to put it there and it's not like it's going to be in my like main living room it's just gonna be here in my room where I record and in uh, am I have like two tables in this room one is this table that I have for recording and then my other table is my table for work so they're on just opposite sides of the room um, so yeah, it's just in this room. So I just wanted a bookshelf to be able to um, have my stuff. I feel like I needed a bookshelf instead of just another one of the um, cube storage things because while they're nice, sometimes I just kind of want not as deep of a shelf. So that's what I was going for. And then I was going to move my cube storage shelf to over here, but put it on flat so that I'll be able to um had to have another surface because yeah i need a i need another surface to plunk things down so that's what my plan was i i just didn't wasn't able to execute said plan because no shelves and then i also went in there to buy those fisk bow um frames because they're only like like i don't know 6.99 for the 40 by 50 um, but yeah, nope, 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 none of those fistful play, um, frames. They had some other frames that were more expensive, but not the fiscal ones. So yeah, not, that wasn't there either. And then, so yeah, I didn't really buy much. Then I just got like little things, but it was kind of annoying that it, the stuff wasn't in stock. But I kind of already knew things weren't in stock. I've been hearing that there's been stock issues and I figured if I go since I'm not there that often like I, if I figure I, I could go there and check out how the bookshelf looks anyway because I wanted to see if it was just like really cheap looking or something and then I was like okay it's not that bad so so I figure I'll still just buy the bookshelf in the future you know or buy it online it wasn't available online because it wasn't it wasn't available period so but that might be what I have to do is I'll have to buy it online I was also wondering like I did when I was googling <laughs> where how to get to Ikea because I, I kind of know the general vicinity of where it is but you know sometimes I'm just the I, the exits are not obvious to me because I it's not like I go there that often so I googled where it was and I was like hey look there's a Ikea distribution center and the distribution center seems closer to me than Ikea is and I'm wondering can I go to just a distribution center? Because <laughs> I was like the Ikea to me is like an hour away maybe or more. No, yeah, no on my way home It said it was like 56 minutes when I went and put it onto my maps 
Um, so yeah, it's like an hour away, but the distribution center I think was probably only more like 30 minutes away from where I live, or maybe a little bit more than that. Um, maybe like 40 minutes. So, so yeah, I was like, ooh, can we just pick things up from the distribution center? Or I might just pay for shipping. If I buy enough, maybe the shipping won't be too bad. So, and alas, I think that's the only um, Ikea in the whole state of Washington. So, but yeah. So even though my trip was a wash and it was kind of a dreary day anyway, so I don't know if I wanted to somehow try to figure out how to put my um, purchases in my car. But, but yeah. So, yeah, there's my just kind of chill weekend visiting my sister. We're both kind of relatively boring people, so it's not like... We're kind of massive homebodies. We don't necessarily need to have to go out and be the life of the party or anything, so it's all good that way. And for whatever reason, we just enjoy eating food. Because <laughs> food is delicious. And a birthday is a reason to eat. So yeah. So I still don't know if I got the permanent position, so we will see. I did have to do a presentation um, at my work this week. And see, the thing is, okay, since I'm only doing my supervising thing right now as, you know, interim, it was... I didn't, so I was supposed to do like a little five minute presentation, so I made like three slides I was because I like to have the words be big. So then I go submit it to the person who was going to put it in because apparently um, instead of having us um, display our own thing, we were someone, we were just going to have one person display their thing so that we didn't have to keep switching. And well, I didn't know that there was a template that we were supposed to use because no one told me. No one told me this because apparently everyone else knew, but I don't know. I don't know if everyone else knew, but no one told me that there was a template to use for the presentation. So then I submit it and then she's like, oh, there's a template. And then she's like, oh, you're only, we're only doing one slide. So put everything into one slide. No one told me this. So I was like, okay, fine. I have to fix it. Um, But, but I got through it, and one good thing is, the people before me spoke so long, <laughs> they were like, um, we're kind of going over time, so you guys might want to sp um, speed it up, so I just talked really fast, and I was probably done in less than five minutes, way less than five minutes, which was good, <laughs> and, and I could speak fast if I really wanted. So got my presentation done and then had the whole like two day meeting. It and it pretty much when you have full two day meetings, full days of two of meetings, it just takes up pretty much all of your time and you don't have any you don't have time to do anything else. So But I think I, 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 I'm actually really thinking the YouTube thing has helped me in my um, speaking. Especially now we're doing all our virtual meetings. I don't know how I would be face to face yet because I'm, I'm one of those that I'm like, no, I don't want to, I don't like giving presentations. But I feel like it's, it's helped me, like this whole YouTube thing helped me in my <laughs> verbal skills. So one plus of doing the YouTube thing because yeah speaking to public not my favorite thing to do or speaking in public public speaking it's just not not something I like doing oh maybe these are more removable than I thought <laughs> So yeah, there, this one, considering it's a 40 by 50 and it has 
what did I say? 53 colors. There's a lot of colors here that are just, just a tiny bit amount. So it seems like these early colors were the ones I was like, oh no, am I going to run out of space? Um, so working out pretty well. Seven, nine, two. So let me cut this. I'm Now I'm kind of afraid that it was removable and it's going to come off of my masking tape too easily, but that's okay. I'd rather have that than, than not be able to peel it off. You could also like use washi tape in the back, but masking tape is wider, so it just works out better for me. Or like the painter's tape would probably work too. Yes, there's so many symbols in these ones. Like, why why is it so simply? Yeah, I don't know if it. Um, so I'm probably not gonna even bother putting these in alphabetical order, or will I? Are there enough letters to make that worth my while? Um, because yeah, there's so many symbols. And I'm not a fan of all the symbols. Do I see arrows though? No. Triangles, I, I don't like the tri- oh man, I see I see triangles, but at least one is red and one's green, so hopefully. And then one's that one. See, there's that triangle, there's that triangle, and then there's this triangle here. Too many triangles. I don't know why this is... I don't know, this may or may not fit into the small one, so we will try. Um, You will try and see if it will fit. But I'm, I'm kidding this up because I had finished my, I just finished my big diamond painting from Diamond Painting Shop. And then when I was done with it, I was like looking at what I had kitted up for myself because um, a lot of the stuff I kitted up recently were for my mom and it's with my mom now. Um, so then I was looking through, I was like, what do I have kitted up? And I'm like, okay, no, I don't actually have that many things um, that I have kitted up that I wanted to do. So I was, so I ended up um, working on one of my crafties diamond paintings that I had kitted up. Um, but then after that, I was like, huh, what am I going to do next? So then I was like, okay. You know, it's spring. I've been wanting to do some tulip diamond paintings, so here's my two tulip diamond paintings. I have more tulip diamond paintings, it was just these were the ones I, I decided to do for this video is these two tulip diamond paintings. So, and then one of them is a square, and then one of them is the other one is from Crystal Canvas Art Designs, and those are a, it's a full crystal rhinestone diamond painting. So, so yeah, do I, I'll have my tulip picks after this, hopefully. Um, And I'm I I I'm, I'm was on a, a square kick. That's why when I was like looking for something else, another square to do after my I finished the diamond painting shop one, I was like, hmm, I could do my my mindfulness diamond painting one, but um, I think that one was a rose, and I was like, you know what, I kind of want to do a tulip. So I went, yeah, this is why I'm doing these ones. I feel like the rose one I could do any time of the year, but the tulip one, I'm like, I want to do it now. There's like this tulip festival that they have in northern Washington. I don't exa exactly know where. Um, I've gone to it before. Uh, well, I don't. I didn't necessarily go to the festival, but I was at, like, they have, like, these big tulip fields and people, like, just, um, like, take pictures next to the tulip fields. I have a picture of myself in the tulip fields, and that's usually in the April-ish time period, so... But yeah, it's somewhere northern Washington. Um, well, north of Seattle. I have not... I don't even remember. Like, see, see that's the problem. You go with someone else. <laughs> you don't remember where it is. Even though I drove, I just still don't remember where it is. I have to go look it up. Um, but yeah, I remember seeing some tulips, and then um, we went to this this ice cream place next to the tulips, and the ice cream place sold like these ice cream cones that were like 
massive. Um, and it was actually a pretty good. See, now I want some, I mean, see, now I'm pondering if maybe when I go visit my sister next, maybe uh, my mom would, and my sister, I don't know, maybe would want to go with me more north to visit the tulips. Um, it is still, and then get some ice cream because ice cream is always good, right? Um, but I, I'm going to see how this whole no mask thing is, goes first, though. <laughs> so, so yeah. Let's see, 33 has two bags, so I think I'll probably need the big one. Um, okay. So yeah, to, um, Tulip Festival. I, I don't, I, I didn't end up going to the festival because I wasn't really sure where it was. Um, but yeah, I think, I don't know. I just, um, I just went to this field with um, a friend of mine and got ice cream at this place where one of the locals um, told us to go to and it was delicious, a lot of ice cream, but, and probably got too much ice cream. It was massive, but you know, in the end, I think it was worth it because ice cream, right? Too bad it wasn't warmer, but so like my friend and I were like eating these massive ice cream cones and we were shivering, but we were like, we're still going to eat this ice cream. <laughs> so even though we were shivering, um, eating massive amount of ice cream, we were like, we're still eating this. <laughs> so yeah, that's why tulips. Um, I have attempted to grow tulips, but I, I decided to just not do it anymore. I do still have the bulbs down there, so if they just randomly pop up again, it'll be all good. Um, I think someone told me to like plant marigolds around the tulips, so that also the reason I'm like I gave up on my tulip thing is um, the deer keep eating the the heads of the tulip, so you would see the tulip come up, and then like a day or two later they'd be headless, headless, and you just see the stem because the deer deer like to eat my flowers, so. <laughs> But they don't eat the daffodils and the crocuses. They don't eat those, but the tulips, they eat those. Um, I do see my, my crocuses have already popped up again. Um, I, I, and a couple of my daffodils have popped up. Um, when I, I, some people's daffodils have gone up. Like when I went to um, my sister's house in Seattle, like, I don't know, is it warmer in Seattle maybe? Um, <laughs> that I saw like, a bunch of um, the daffodils already popped up. Mine, mine just, mine haven't opened yet. I see them popped up, and they might open soon. So might have some daffodils soon. And then if my tulips pop up again, might have tulips again. You know, for like a day until you know they get eaten. <laughs> but I've been finding I'm actually. Uh, pretty much a black thumb. I don't know, like, I try and they don't, and they just die. So, <laughs> so that's maybe why I diamond paint all these flowers and things because, you know, I have in my brain, ooh, I want to plant these things and it just doesn't work. Um, <laughs> I think I just, I just don't have, I don't have the, I don't have the, I don't have the green thumb. I, I think I have a black thumb. Um, things just die. And and then if I do plant something and it grows well, I'm like, ooh, that grew really easily. Like, like I, I planted some lavender in my front yard and that thing just grew like crazy. And I was like, okay, la lavender is happy here. Um, I do know there is like near me-ish. Um, I think in 
I don't know. I don't know where my places are. Um, near me-ish, I've seen on the news that there's like a lavender farm not far from where I am um, that that does like tours during the lavender season. Um, and I'm like, ooh, that might be something to do in the future, you know, post, um, <laughs> post-COVID. Um, go visit the lavender farm. Oh, I wonder if they have like, I, I was going to say, I wonder if they have like lavender flavored ice cream, but I actually don't like lavender flavored anything. I'm just like, why would you want something lavender flavored to eat? Um, like, it's like you're eating a flower. I don't know. Maybe other people like lavender flavored things. I'm like, no, this tastes like I'm eating like lotion or something. 3607. I don't know. That I feel like it will fit the small one, but I'm very bad at guesstimating. Um, but yeah, it'll be very exciting post COVID. Hopefully, there is a post COVID um, to start doing more of the things that I'm still kind of reluctant to do. So, because <laughs> I'm. I'm still, yeah. But, you know, I, I was like, because I only, I moved to my house in 2019, so I haven't, I haven't had really the chance to check out lots of things here before COVID happened. <laughs> so, so yeah, I mean, I used to live in Seattle, so now I'm in Kitsap County, so I'm on the other side of the water um, so there are things over near here that I haven't been able to check out yet um, and that was that like the lavender thing was one of the ones um, I kind of want to visit the Olympics a little bit more um, the Olympic mountain ranges and and it might be funny <laughs> but I kind of want to visit forks because you know Twilight <laughs> which Forks is actually a good um, drive away for me, so um, it would, I don't think it would be a day trip. I've gone, the closest to the Twilight books I've gotten is the Port Angeles, because um, on the way to the Olympic National Park. Um, but yeah, no, I don't know. It would probably be boring, and the people at Forks don't want us crazy, um, tourist to go visit them so yeah it probably isn't even a destination it's probably nothing there but i i mean i think a part of the olympics is considered a rainforest so i thought that was interesting um so yeah i have to explore washington more So, yeah, the things I kind of want to do, hopefully, after we get over the veil of COVID, because I feel like, yeah. I don't know, other people are just like, yeah, let's go do it. And I'm like, no, I'm still, yeah, no, I don't, I don't trust you. Are you a carrier? <laughs> Am I going to get sick from you? So, yeah. Although, okay, so at my work someone um resigned to take a job somewhere else so um we had like a going away lunch and so you can't really eat lunch with people <laughs> with a mask on so and we went off to a um restaurant and and then we had like a really long table reserved kind of thing so, so then I was talking to the people next to me and we were, and, and, um, one of them was one of the more, I guess, paranoid, more paranoid than I was at least about the whole thing. And she's like, it feels really weird that we're eating together without a mask. This is like one of the first ones I've been doing. Not, that's not outside of my like immediate family or something. And I get it. I'm, I'm kind of the same way too. Um, where like I'm like uh, I'm, yeah no I, I don't think 
I'm prepared to, but I was like, you know what? I know at least all the people at my work are vaccinated. So I have that at least. That's my whole mentality. <laughs> so, but I'm wondering if this year we'll actually have, you know, all of our potlucks that we were having before because my workplace likes their potlucks. Um, <laughs> there's, I, I think my workplace just likes the food. So, um, I'm wondering if we'll have our Christmas um, potluck. We also had like a Halloween potluck. Yes, Halloween. I don't know why. Um, and then actually usually around this time we would have a breakfast. Um, but yeah, I don't think we're ready yet for that. Um, but I'm wondering if this is the year where we're actually, you know, start up doing things again, you know without having all the, no, we can't do it protocols, you know? So, and then would we want to do it? That's the question too. But yeah, my, my work, it's, you don't have to be masked up at work. Um, I went and used my mask this week and then I was like, and then I was like, wait, I'm going to be eating with these people <laughs> for this going away lunch thing. So, yeah. So then I was like, wait, why am I wearing my mask? I'm just going to be eating. But yeah, my, I'm pretty much the whole state of Washington is starting the whole maskless thing. I'm still wearing my, I'm still going to wear my mask to, to public places, but I'm, I'm probably not my work anymore. Um, we will see. So, am I going to have, I only have four more. So, here, I think I'm going to need a couple more small ones. I do have another, I do have more containers here on the side, so. So, so yeah. I think it's just starting to try to be comfortable around people maskless. I don't know, but we will see. I, I kind of right now I'm on the, um, I'm on the, you know what? I've gone this long with the whole mask thing. I can go on longer. I'll just wait and see how things go. Um, because yeah, I don't want COVID. I mean, and even though it seems like I would probably recover based off of the fact that I am vaccinated and boosted, I still don't want to go through the, through the trouble of getting COVID, so I'm okay. So I'm okay with wearing the mask a little longer, just so that I don't have, <laughs> I don't have to deal with it, the whole COVID thing. So... So yeah, I, I, it's actually, I'm actually almost filling this thing up, so uh, if I would be kind of worried if I wasn't almost done with it because, yeah, I only have that much space left. So here's the first AB, it's an AB white. There. The second AB is very, very minimal. I might have to add another green AB. Actually, there's not that much green in here. I'm actually thinking I have a lot of pink ABs. Um, so I'll probably choose one of the pinks to put an AB. Although well, there's this kind of, this is a purpley AB. Um, so I'll have to choose like one of my pink colors or more than one of my pink colors for an AB. And I was thinking also another green um, color for an AB. Yeah. I, I have, like I said, I have tons. I don't know about tons, but I have... A lot of colors of ABs, and I think I actually need the big one for this one. Um, and I have a lot of pinks, so I think I'm going to choose one of the pinks maybe as an AB. I'll have to see what I have, because, you know, I don't plan out what I'm going to use the ABs for until, you know, much, well, until I'm like staring at it, and then I'm staring at my colors of ABs, and then I'm like, hmm, staring. And you don't have to use the same exact, like, DMC. You could just choose something that's close enough um, to 
the color with the AB on it. So, so yeah, there and so yeah, I ended up almost pretty much taking up this whole container here. So then I have my purple tulips in there, and I'm then I I pretty much know this is my Dreamer Designs ones. Just because it's just called purple tulips. So yeah, there's the first one. Kit it up. And because, you know, I can't seem to just kit up one diamond painting. Um, oh. We have to do another one. Okay. It's this one here. This is much bigger. So it's these these two tulips here. It's much bigger. I like to keep the canvas around me so that I can see the legend here. So this actually is from Crystal Canvas Art Designs. I think I'm going to use this container, which is uh, the outer container is a Harbor Freight, and then I just filled it up with bottles, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. So eight times six is 48. Um, so I have 48 bottles in here, and I have 36, 35 colors. So I think, hopefully, that should be enough that I only have maybe 13 that need more than one bottle. Um, these are actually in the baggies, and I could technically just keep it in the baggies, but that's not how I diamond paint. Oh, it looks like I actually did already um, cut these, so I'm just going to label all the bottles just in case my, my baggies are not in order. So these are in, um, these ones this have having like 35 colors. I'm wondering if I actually have all of these yet in my spares. And I'm also thinking if my stuff doesn't match this, should I just use this as my, this company as my like, this is what this, this color is supposed to look like. Because you know how like DMC numbers don't tend to match things. Um, will, the, will this be a better gauge of what the drill colors are supposed to be? I don't know. But yeah, no, these... Because my normally my, my special shaped diamond paintings only have like 12 colors. So this one is going to have 35 colors. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm getting, probably getting a lot of colors that I don't normally get in my special shape diamond paintings. So, so I did scan the legend and make these labels from it. I did make a video of how I did that at some point, and it's in my cha channel somewhere. If I remember, I'll link it below. I probably won't remember. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I scan the legend, I use a scanner to, because I have one of those all-in-one printers, so it has a scanner, a printer, a photocopying part. Um, I never used the photocopying part, uh, I don't know, um, but, because I tend to just scan the legend and then I just kind of edit out everything else because I don't want to like waste ink on on the things I'm not going to use so but yeah I made a video of it at some point um on how I do it and how I do it is not probably the only way of doing it it's just how I do it So, so if I need any more, if any of them take up a lot of space and I need more bottles, I have, I have enough, hopefully. So this diamond painting came in baggies. Oh, I have only one. So I'll have to look at, I only have the, the number, this number here. So hopefully I'll be able to figure that out. Um, and that's why sometimes I like the legend next to me. So, and these baggies are actually the baggies I use, the size I use for my kitting downs. So see, this is why I, I didn't buy baggies before, because 
I have plenty that I just get from Diamond Paintings. So I'm just going to put that there. And I think I, I, when I got these, I put them in order, the baggies. So they should be in order. Um, because back then, this is because this is Diamond Painting 200 something for me. Ooh, 219. Um, I usually made more an effort. Now I don't. <laughs> So I'm just going to get another bottle here. And the problem is the this one is crystal code number four, but the symbol is two. Um, what I'm probably going to do is just put in um, 004 so that I know that's the crystal code. Um, and just put that in the back if I need it. Um, number three. So yeah, you know, I realize I'm going to finish pouring this. I didn't fill out my journal. It's just so excited about starting. <laughs> so let me fill out my journal. So this is my, this is my like journal that I have. This is just the one I have. That's all the stuff I have kitted up after I started doing my journal. I do have some stuff, um, kitted up that I didn't put in here yet. Um, that I haven't started because it was kitted up way before I started doing this journal version. So, so yeah, it, I actually don't have that much in here for me. And that's why I was, I was like, ah, oh, what am I going to do? So I ended up doing um, one of my crafties ones that was already kitted up. But I didn't feel like doing a round. Like, I, I was on a square kick and I was like, I guess I don't have any. I have my um, my mindfulness diamond painting square one, but I just didn't feel like doing it. I don't know why. So this is a 70. And is it 40? Yep, it's 40. 40 by 70. So that's correct. And this has, this is a full drill on poured glue. There's 35 colors and they're all crystal rhinestones. There is a crystal code and it is still three. 20, 2022. Yeah, I had to look at my phone what the date was um, because yeah. So number four, yep. Still making sure I'm so, so yeah, what was I talking about before? I don't know anymore. So yeah, um, I still don't know whether I got my, the permanent position for the one I interviewed with. Um, so yeah, still waiting. Probably because we had um, the supervisors, which includes my supervisor, had a, we had our two day um, meeting so those just are sometimes a massive time suck so that you don't have time to do other things um, hopefully I find out I don't know maybe if my references get called they'll tell me that they got called and then I'll find out at least I'm that far because just because they call references does not mean you got the job because that's happened to me before where my references got called and then I did not end up getting the job um, because, okay, so, because I guess the other person was, um, more awesome because I asked my references and they're like, yeah, no, I, they were, they were like, I did eventually get a job at that place. Um, but later on, so, so yeah, no, I think my references checked out it's just someone else had just more qualifications than me so they won um but i guess i was close that when this one was actually one of those places that actually contacted me and told me i didn't get a job because lots of times when you apply for a job and then you interview they never and then you don't get the job you never hear from them again um so this place actually did contact me and told me I did not get it, but that 
I was very close and they told me that there was possibly going to be an opening in this so-and-so time and I did actually apply for the opening that happened later and I got that job so so yeah so I will find out if my references or I don't even know are they gonna call my references I am an internal candidate um, <laughs> so I guess we will see we will see but but yeah for now all I could do is wait and by the time this gets posted I might have completely <laughs> a different thing but but for now I still don't know so yeah otherwise nothing I don't have yeah nothing really crazy else happened I have to go file my taxes it's already almost time for tax season <laughs> Um, well, at least maybe by the time this gets posted, uh, yeah. I need to go file my taxes. I've already, like, put in a lot of my information, so it's just a matter of just finishing it, um, because, you know. Pressing play is the hardest part, right? <laughs> like, pressing the submit button, it's like... Is it correct? My my mentality is okay. I'm I'm not going. I'm not like doing like tax fraud or anything. So the worst case is I I file it wrong and I have to do a there and then they tell me I filed something wrong and and then I have to just change it and I end up having to pay whatever. Either way, that's what I figure is the worst that will happen. And if they audit me, they audit me. See, I guess that's the problem now that I kind of have this side business that's called my YouTube channel. <laughs> Is my taxes got a little bit more complicated. So I need another bottle here. So. Because otherwise, my taxes were boring because I just had my one job. Although, you know, when I was trying to figure out what category to put the YouTube channel in, I, I was like, I ended up putting it in other because I tried to look at entertainment and none of them, none of the, after I put entertainment in, because I figure YouTube channel, right? It's entertainment. After I put entertainment in, nothing in entertainment seemed correct. So I was like, okay, no. And then I was like, I don't know. I ended up putting it in other. So who knows? Cause I was, yeah, nothing, no, nothing seemed like correct. They should totally have a section for like vloggers or something, because, but then the IRS might be behind on the times, um, cause maybe in the future there'll be a category, uh, one that made sense. Cause I was trying to figure out what category to put it in, and I was like, okay, I'll just put it in other, and then write it out and whatever so I think I ended up putting YouTube channel for crafting <laughs> I, I figured not be too specific um, but yeah but like I said I haven't pressed submit yet um, I'm not gonna get like a massive refund or anything so there's no like hurry for me to <laughs> submit something So, but I am was able I I, sh I was able to like at least deduct all of my diamond painting stuff and my YouTube stuff because I guess I have a diamond painting business I don't know a YouTube channel about diamond painting so diamond painting expenses is kind of a business expense which is kind of weird. <laughs> So yeah, maybe, maybe I should just buy more dog painting so that, you know, not all of my YouTube money is going to taxes. Well, it's not like all of it goes, but you have to pay like 30%. That's what my, when I was calculating it, I was like, okay, I have to pay about 30% of my YouTube money to taxes. 
Oh, that's a different color. So, yeah. I have to go file those. I'll do it this week, maybe. Okay. Let's see. It's 16. Just making sure. Because the, the color on this doesn't really match the color of this. It's more of a purple on here. Just so I was like making sure that I was still on track. Um, see, the one bad thing about the baggies is just they're just they don't pour well into the containers. So, <laughs> but you could always just down paint straight from them if that's your jam. It's not mine. See, this one is gray here, but it's like a purple color. Um, but yeah, no, the pouring from the baggies just takes a little longer. So yeah, I think, I think I've run out of things to talk about. 18 is 61. Yep, I'm still on track. making sure I'm still yeah I did put these away in order so what color is this that is the same color as that must have flown when I opened the bag Let's see this is I apparently am not a good pourer from the baggies But this does have my favorite legend, you know, the one, two, three, and then ABC. So. But it doesn't have the O um, and a zero because it has a Q and it doesn't have the B because there's an eight. So that worked out and there's no nine because there's a six. So like I said, one of the better legends. So. So I'm hoping I actually get some colors here that I didn't get before. I don't know why. I get excited when when I get a color that I, I didn't have before. So. Seventy-one. Twenty. Just making sure. This is a really pretty like orange or red an orangey red. Is it gonna fit? Yes. So this one is actually a pretty big diamond painting. What did I say? It was a 40 by 70. So that's like slightly bigger than 230 by 40s. So um, if I consider it just like 230 by 40s or you know a 35 by 40, um, it doesn't seem half as big if I just consider it two of those. And plus these are these are rhinestones. They're rounds. It shouldn't be that hard. Like I, I was on a square kick, so then um so then I said I started working on one of my crafties ones that I just had kitted up anyway. Um and then I was like, wow, I forgot how easy rounds are compared to a square. <laughs> so yeah. I was like, this is so easy. Why do I do squares? I don't know. I still enjoy it. Squares are like my favorite. I don't know why. I just enjoy doing them more because I don't know. I like doing hard things. I don't know. But I, I was starting to do it and I was like, wow, this is so easy. No, like, like lining up things are so much easier. Yeah. And see, the thing is with rounds is your drill quality doesn't even have to be perfect for rounds. So that's probably why, like, the drill quality for rounds don't have to be perfect. So that's why they're also easy because even if you, unless you have, like, a drill that's too small or a drill that's massively too big, even, even those ones that kind of have um, excess plastic around it, it, they, it's one, it's very obvious and they're easy to take out. And two, it's like, it's still fine. Like if you, you have some slightly off bits, it doesn't seem as bad as when your squares are slightly off. 
in size. So, so I was like, and plus the thing is when I'm doing a round, I could actually use all of my, cause I, I like these rhinestones, I like rhinestones to help, help bling up, like just add an extra amount of just bling to my round diamond paintings. And since I was on a square kick, I wasn't able to use all of my stash of rhinestones and I don't have as many square rhinestones to bling things up because you kind of have to buy those on your own because you don't normally get square rhinestone diamond paintings. Um, I think I did see crystal canvas art designs did have some square rhinestone diamond paintings, but I didn't, I don't think I liked, they were more expensive than the round ones, which makes sense because it's probably just a supply issue. There's just not as many square rhinestones available, so they're probably more expensive. And the thing is, I just didn't like any of the images enough to get it, so I was like, to spend the extra money. So, but I'm guessing in the future, there'll be more. So here's hoping. Because I, my square rhinestone that I, I I got from AliExpress, they're beautiful. I also got some from like, I think it was Shimmering Canvases. They're beautiful also. Like when you put them on diamond paintings, it's just, they're just, it's just, they just look awesome on squares, on square diamond paintings. So I'm hoping more will come out because that's what I was finding. I was trying to bling up um, a diamond, a square diamond painting with my square rhinestones and I was trying to find per good, better matches to what I was diamond painting. And sometimes I just, I was like, I don't have a better match. So I'm going to have to just use this one. And just because I just didn't have enough um, colors, but they look awesome on the diamond paintings. So, you know, I think this might be my key. My, I have like a gray um, rhinestone in my stash that I don't have a number for. That might be it. So, 86, am I on 27, yep. But yeah, no, I'm hoping more square rhinestone colors get made because they just look beautiful. Ninety-three. So ninety-three is actually black. So these are the black drills, um, and I think I'm gonna need more bottles. So yeah, no, these are black, but they do have the silver backing. See, this is why I said I was sucking at pouring from the baggies. These are black drills with the silver backing. Um, sometimes um, you just end up getting like the rhinestone. See, the thing is, I don't know if you if you get rhinestone drills, they look different than the um, regular round drills because they have flat tops as opposed to the regular round drills that have pointy tops. So. So these black drills look a little bit different than regular 310. So 093. I just know 093 is the black rhinestone color. Just like one is the clear one. Did this one actually have one? No. Are these in order of crystal code number? I think they are. So <laughs> I didn't notice that. So this one actually doesn't have one, which is, I feel like the most common one, which is number one is the one that's a clear um, drill is 102. So, and this one doesn't seem to have any clear drills. So, purple. I actually don't think I have that many purple rhinestones. I, I guess I just haven't picked diamond paintings with pur that many purple, at least in the special drills. Number 30. And this is a more vibrant purple. I 
know I saw one pop there. One of three. 31 is 154. So really pretty red color. There. And let's see, oops, an extra one right there. Yeah, that, that one's a really pretty color. 155, yep, 32. This is like a pinkish purple color. So if you're like, if you have a whole bunch of rhinestones and you want the code for it, maybe you could just buy a whole bunch of diamond paintings from Crystal Canvas Art Designs and then hope they have a differing enough colors that you'll get all the colors. I don't know how many colors there are. I'm thinking there's like one seven, I've seen a pack of 175 colors before on AliExpress and I would have bought it had they been in the crystal code. So 33 is 166. Um, but they were using the DMC code and I was just like, no, I, I want them to be the crystal code. And plus, if you've seen my stash of rhinestones, it just seems like <laughs> it seems obscene. The only reason I would have gotten that was just for matching purposes. Okay, so this one has a lot. 34. You know, I realized this one is just, this one must be, oh, this is like the wrong type of container. These are smaller, um, not as tall. Oh, well. Because I don't know if you know that there's two sizes of these containers. See, there, there's this one that's wider but shorter, and then this one that's narrower but taller. Um, <laughs> that's what I've noticed. And then I just have cut up like junk mail as my little dividers in there to help. Might need. This one's just like a really, I might need four. Um, this one looks like it's a gray color. Hopefully, do I? Yeah, I think I am gonna need the four. That was correct. Ah, it's just, see, I don't like pouring, I don't like the baggies that much from pouring in, but I like the fact that I could use them for something else afterwards and not just throw them all away, so. So 175 looks like it has a lot. So, I need three, oop, this one. There. So, 175, I need three. Let's see, 175, 175, and 175. So yeah, I think, I think after these two, I should be tuliped up or not, right? I should be done with my tulip. <laughs> Actually, no, I, I don't get sick of doing the flowers. I don't know why. Um, I just like them. So there's more 175 here. And then 35 is the last one, 194 here. Okay, and that fit into one. There. And there. Woohoo! 
Okay, so now I have a whole bunch of baggies that I could use for my kitting down um, purposes. And this one is done. I should put in a label. Um, so this is 219 Tulip. And this one is a 40 by 70. So I know what it is. 40 by 70 special. Um, and let's put that here. So there is that one kitted up. So I have these two diamond paintings kitted up here. These tulips here. And then these tulips here. And there it is kitted up. So that is all I have for today. So thank you very much for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye.